Jeff, uh, give me your take as to what you think is happening right now in the investigation. And as we are watching a SWAT team and police uh, surround this area, what's going on? Well, I mean, they're trying to narrow down the focus of, uh, of the, uh, where this person is and uh, was, you know, step by step closing in and uh, trying to stay safe at the same time. And this guy has decided uh, from the moment those pictures appeared on television uh, that he was going out in, in, uh, in a barrage of gunfire. I mean, he's not going to be taken alive. They had both yeah. had, a death, had a death with, wish, one had and one has. And uh, this is, they're just trying to keep themselves safe, people safe, and at the same time, uh, you know, get, get as close as possible to him. And keep, well, at, he, I mean, keep, at, 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 at this point, Jeff and Richard, at this point, I mean, this man is cornered. Right. I mean, it, it seems as if and I don't want to speculate too much, but uh, you, they've got the whole area in lockdown. There isn't a whole lot of there isn't really a place where you could really hide. Well, at this it's point, a very right? big area and there are there are an incredible number of police responding right now. But there is a very big area and there's a risk of a hostage situation. Mm. He may be locked down, but there may be civilians nearby that they'll be worried about. And as Jeff just said, uh, you, you always worry about suicide by cop, uh, which is essentially they decide to go out in a blaze of gunfire. Uh, and uh, end their life that way and takes as many uh, the law enforcement personnel with them as they can. Jeff, what is the FBI doing right now? Describe to me how you coordinate in a situation like this. Well, you have uh, the SWAT team from uh, the FBI, local police, state police. Uh, someone's in charge there. Uh, I'm not sure why well, the FBI is in charge of the overall investigation involving the terrorist incident. I'm not exactly sure who's in charge of the of this response of the SWAT uh, uh, action that's taking place right now. They decided that a long time ago, and uh, you know someone's making those types of decisions. So, as a matter of uh, just as a matter of the team, that's what the FBI is doing. The team of agents and, and the SWAT personnel are there on, on site. Uh, and what should be what should the FBI or law enforcement in general should, what should they be communicating to the public right now? Because we were just discussing the role of social media here. Well, I think what the, what uh, you've been saying is is absolutely true. Uh, it's going to be hard to keep this information from getting out. But so when I was uh, a spokesman for the FBI many years ago, and we had incidents like this, we were I was always afraid, and we in general were thinking that the, the police, the, the, excuse me, the, the the hostage taker or the suspect could always be watching TV, listening to the radio, and hearing exactly you know what we're saying, and that puts officers in danger, SWAT personnel, negotiators. Uh, 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 hostages in, in total danger. Now, uh, it's it's not the radio and TV. I mean, it's, it's everything, and the social media yeah. makes it almost with social media makes it almost impossible to keep, to, you know, to keep things out uh, of, uh, uh, of someone's knowledge. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to, to prevent. It. It's absolutely That's hard it. to prevent people from from, from broadcasting uh, information through uh, through social media, through their cell phones.